Hello guys and welcome back to another Wizzy Welsh Eventing vlog. This is a very impromptu vlog but I have just had the best schooling session on Saturday and I have recorded it. We haven't been in the school for ages and my hat's broken. Not good. Um, and honestly she was absolutely amazing. She's had three days off because she had a very busy schedule this week. Um, I've done lots of jumping and I haven't done but it's flat work and flat work is the key to going jumping so um yeah came in here and just wanted to see how she was really because apparently she's been hooling around the field <laughs> um but she's fine and yeah i'm going to talk to you guys over a voiceover and explain what i was doing and what my aim for today was enjoy so i thought i'd do another little whizzy wash insights vlog and this was a really, really good schooling session for me and Sez. So I have recently changed her bit setup. So she's in a universal from expert bit, so the comfy barrel. Um, but what I was finding was it was over rotating in her mouth and she was crossing her jaw. So I've put a little back strap across the top bubbles and it's definitely helping. She's a lot more controllable in the show jumping and in uh, dressage as well so this is actually her jumping bit usually I'd school her in a snaffle but she was feeling very fresh so I decided jumping bit was safer so you'll notice to start with she's a little bit tense um, over her back like she's not quite going down how I'd like her to so she's not quite reaching down and through the contact so what I do in the canter is as you see there just lean forwards and just ask her to go into the contact by opening my reins and pushing her forward into it and you'll see there that she's got the one two three beat really easy and then because she had that nice forward rhythm and she was working over her back in the canter the trot we get afterwards is beautiful and look at that working over her back and just powering forwards really tracking up nicely so in this session what i wanted to work on was getting that three beat canter going working on my transitions and as well as that i wanted to do more direct transitions so she really struggles with trot to halt and i wanted to make sure that i was doing it right so i turned to the wonderful people of instagram and said you know what can i do so what sarah intends to do is she kind of when I ask for the halt, she'll stop, um, but it's really abrupt and she drags my hands down. Oh, look at that, the way she's working there. So nice. She felt really, really good as well. Like she just felt springy and working over her back, just lovely. So yeah, I'm going to share some of the advice that the one of the people of Instagram shared with me and there was a number of things that I wanted to try that I thought would work for Seren. So a number of people, Welsh ponies said that actually rising into a warp or rising into a halt is the best way because they're naturally quite, what's the word, forward, heavy, heavy on the forehand um, because of the gait it's better to kind of do it all through your seat which i was trying to do anyway but it wasn't working for seren so yeah tried the trot to rise and trot to halt and then also using my knees to grip to kind of block the forward movement and obviously use your stomach muscles which mine are lacking at the moment big big so I mentioned in my previous part of the vlog that I do a lot of walk to canter transitions to really get says on her hind legs and moving forwards and off my leg in the canter and then coming back to trot she's just going so nice like she felt so good oh she had a little spooky spook there um and then once I felt like she was going forward enough I was like right so they advised me to ride forward into the halt so that she kind of can't lean so here we have a little go there and trying to do the rising trot to halt and then that was much better than what we have been getting she wasn't dragging me down i didn't just abruptly stop i actually took a breath and then stopped which is what she needs and we'll go again now rising into the trot she's a little bit more grabby there walks on with me yeah she's just a know-it-all basically she does not like to stand still that pony of mine so I decided to write, okay, you're not listening to me. Let's do something different. So walk to canter, transition, and then I'll come across to school, bring her back to walk and canter, transition the other way, just to get her listening. It really gets her and listening. She loves it. Um, get to go forward off my leg and forward thinking. So 
we're going to try and do, oh, we're going to go for a canter now. We're going to do another canter with me standing in the stirrups. This is the thing, I'd never just do one thing. Like if she can't, if she doesn't get it, she's getting frustrated. There's no point. I've just got to switch it up and do something different. So there we go. She's a bit more relaxed now. So I'm going to try again to do the trot to halt. There we go. That was much better. You see how she was so much more relaxed and I was relaxing. Oh, she's a bit, a bit linear with the head there. Um, just fighting me. She just likes to fight me every now and again. So there you go. This is a little bit tense. So I'm just going to get her going forward in the trot again. So here I'm just going trot, 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 trot. And then nice halt there. She still drags me down. She's still getting stroppy about the fact that she has to stop. So we have another go, rising into the halt, much slower this time, much slower process, and she did stand there, really nice. So we just kept repeating this kind of transitions within the trot, like everybody had told me. So really going forward in the trot and then slower. And then you see she's just dragged me down a little bit there. And then we try again. Not so much there, that was better. I'll give her a pat every time. That was much better. We didn't get the step and we didn't get the drag down as much. So, yep, she gets a pat. This was our final one and this was perfect. No dragging down, head nicely, and yeah, really, really pleased with her. Epic pony, you are going to be very special, aren't you? <laughs> Good girlie. She loves cantering, now she can do it. Don't you, says, says. Good girl. So yeah, as you can see, she was absolutely epic and oh, her flat work is just coming on at leaps and bounds, which in turn is helping the jumping no end. So yeah, moral of the story, if you're having problems jumping, do your flat work. Ah.